good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time of day you're watching a Sunday, whatever else in the world you are. I'm Mod, this is Eurotruck Simulator 2, episode 181. I notice every time I have to think about the episode number, I always look up at this little corner, or maybe that corner, but this... Anyway, episode 181. Today's soundtrack was kindly suggested by Mr. AO203040, otherwise known as 4040. It's the EVE Online soundtrack, and uh, it's, ba it's about six hours worth of it, so I've just found a point that I like most, and hit play there, and there's a good tune about 20 minutes or so from now, which I'll probably go <laughs> at, and then I'll just froth lots and uh, check it out, people. I have a slight episode plan. It's only a slight episode plan, but it is a slight episode plan. I'd like to bring your attention, if you could please, to the screen at the moment. There's a prehistoric paint jobs. Paint your truck with a choice of six prehistoric themed paint jobs. Ice Age, Winged Wizard, blah 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 blah. Quick, click to view more, which I imagine takes you to an outer browser viewer. And also, I'd like to point out today... Ooh, I have a new shirt. Companion Cube, being held by a compa healthcare companion. How awesome is that? tfiori.com tfiori.com I don't know if they're doing it anymore Anyway, let's cut to the chase We're doing a challenge, right? We are doing ourselves a challenge A 15 episode challenge that you lot have asked for So the first few minutes this is going to be setting up And I think the first thing we need to do We need to disable The Team Tuxedo mod pack I don't want the super engines just so you guys can't go, but mod, you could use a mice engine and all that other blah 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 stuff. So yeah, sorry about that, but we are going to have to have some trailers. Yes. Yes. We have to have the Gaming Dude trailer, we like the Gaming Dude trailer. Do, 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 do. It's going to make me skip this. The top every single time, isn't it? There you go. I wish I could click on multiple at the same time. You may have noticed I haven't clicked on Mike's. Mike has unfortunately left the team and he's had a bit of um Let's just leave it at that. Mike's left the team. We wish Mike well in his future endeavours. And thank him for his time being part of Team Tuxedo. He's actually the first person to quit the team thinking about it. See, is that it? Yep. Confirm changes. Continue game. Signing in. Load. Yes. It'll probably reset us back to Birmingham now. Probably. Nope. It's left us where we were. We're on 0% damage. Good. Now let's go to the options. Controls. Steering is done. Gears. I'm looking forward to this. Gears. I don't know what that means. Range and splitter and custom range what? So I need to set these to uh, buttons. No, it won't let me set. There we go. I have to use the joypad for these, do I? Okay, and I don't have enough buttons to do each of these gears. Shoot. I might have to forego the camera. Reverse on the horn. Shift to position one, left. No, it wants a button. Bugger. Am I actually going to have to change all my buttons just so I can have manual gears? I think I am, aren't I? Okay. X. Two. Three. I can't unassign that one. That one is my hitching up trailer. Button. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shift to toggle one. I don't know. I've run out of buttons. 
Um, we never use right on the D-pad, so that'll go. Joy hat switch right. I assume this is switching between the two gearboxes. Press the button you want to sign to this one. Down. 15 episodes of this. You guys owe me. That'll do. That'll do. Um, graphics, no. Gameplay. Realistic fuel consumption off, apparently. Truck speed limiter on. That's what you guys wanted. Let's have a quick test drive and see how we get on. Okay, so one. No. Do I have to actually set as a manual gearbox? I think I do. Controls. Transmission, there we go. H shifter. Adaptive automatic transmission. I think we need to turn that off. Let's try then. Ooh, no. 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 So what did I change then? If these but so what have I actually changed then? In the options? H shifter setup. Shift the layout. Custom range. Okay, I've established I've got no gears. Um. I've got no gears, guys. I've got no gears. Do I have to unassign the other controls? I think I do. I can rev the truck. I can rev Matilda. That's progress, at least. Assign game actions to the keys of your choice. Is this what I'm looking for? Root advisor. Cruise control. Ah, shift up, shift down. Shift up. Shift down. Shift to neutral. And we're going to need to lose something with that one. Let's see if that works. If this is not what you guys want for the manual gears, then. Sorry. Up, down. I've got the map. This is frustrating. Honestly, this is frustrating. I can't do manual gears with a joypad, apparently. Is there something I'm missing? Simulation steering also center, truck limiter, truck limit, tolerance, music, online news, show cutscenes. I want to actually do some talking in this episode, not just pissing about with options. Shift up, shift down, Tri shift to neutral, shift up, hint, shift down, hint. Gearbox switch automatic slash sequential. See if that makes a difference. Nope. All I'm doing is I'm turning the windscreen wipers on. Nope. I've lost windscreen wipers. Fantastic! 
I would wish you'd done this off cam in a way, but. <laughs> Shift up, shift down, hint. Do I need the hints up and down? Let's try that then. That's quite exhaust brake. Lift drop axle is you. I can lift and drop an axle. Oh no, I haven't got the drop axle chassis, so I can't. And meanwhile, I can imagine those hardcore Euro truck fans sitting there at home watching this are like, Mom, you're doing it wrong! You're doing it wrong! Do it, sir! Do it like this, Mom! Do it like this! If that's the case, cool! I've got nothing. I've got nothing. So, okay, guys, I'm going to have to apologise for this one. I'm going to do the first episode with a manual gearbox. How do I undersign a button? Right, let's go back to the root advisor. Job info, as always. There we go. Windscreen wipers. controls simple automatic adaptive up so guys I do apologize I've spent the last 10 minutes trying to sort this out I can't figure it out so if you can let me know in the comments what I should be doing with the manual gearbox then please let me know I would like to try to do the manual gears let's go for a job and then to talk we're gonna have to cut this job a little bit short now because time no Felix Day. Do we want to go to Felix Day? With 22 tons of empty pallets. Amsterdam? We haven't been to Amsterdam yet. We could go to Liverpool with 18 tons of cheese. <laughs> Appropriately, it's a Murtai trailer. <laughs> Rotterdam's a decent paying one. Kiel, Dijon. Place I can't pronounce. Stavanger? Stavanger, even. And apparently it's quicker to drive through Europe and stay on the mainland than it is to go up to here and then use this port. Okay. Let's take the used plastics to... No, let's take the cheese. We'll take the cheese. This is now when we found out I've set it wrong completely. No, we got it right. We got it right. Actually, what I should do while I'm in Birmingham? Are we in Birmingham? No, we're, we're in Southampton, aren't we? I'd say we should possibly contemplate visiting services and make sure we've got a decent engine in. So let's, and we can't afford it anyway, I don't think. Let's go have a look, see what we've actually got in Matilda at the moment. If you're going to do a challenge, you've got to do it properly, right? I would like to apologise to Bob and Pasta for the last episode when they wanted topless mod and I said no I'm sorry but you know I'm not getting my boobs out on camera I'll get banned from YouTube so quickly because you know my boobs are mighty enough for... let's go to uh, the upgrade shop engine we've got the 510 horsepower We don't have enough for that engine. I would like that engine. Yes, cancel. Cancel. Da 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 I need that much, yes please, because I want at least a decent engine for the job. Upgrades. Upgrade shop. Engine. Powerful engine, confirm order, thank you very much, have a nice day. Let's go make us some money. That's better. Nice vanilla powerful engine. 
unfortunately means we've got a vanilla horn, but I have to get the practice in. I have to get the practice using the vanilla packs for when we do the race across Europe. On that note, I do have to apologise to everyone. There is a slight change to the plan. But it's a slight change to the plan, I mean, mod got it wrong. Um, Twitter, at Hopeathlon. Yeah? Link is in the description, as always. I need to correct the times. It's uh, I said it was 12pm Eastern, 6pm British. Simon informed me that I was actually wrong. It's 12pm PST, which I believe is Pacific time. And then 8 a.m. Uh, and no, 12 p.m. Yes, yeah, starts 8 p.m. BST, which is British Standard Time. And we'll take you. I we'll take you very much. We're off to Liverpool. Off to Liverpool. We're probably going to have to finish this on ep next episode because I do want to give you guys a stupidly long episode of crap to watch. Yes, I know, wasted enough time. And if anybody could please let me know what I could do to get a manual gearbox. With a joypad. Boom. In cab. Oh, we've got a speed limiter. So I can't just tear us around everywhere. I made sure to leave that on at least. Right, so here we go. 15 episodes worth of challenge. No damage to the trailer. No penalties. We're about to go, yes. Yeah, no penalties. Got to be on time. You know, the usual drill. The usual drill with these challenges. Target is set to £2,000. If we pass the challenge, I will be adding £500 to the goal. Because this will be... this. I'll be finishing this challenge just in time for Hope Athlon and... Simon is quite enthusiastic and positive that we'll be raising a lot of money for Papyrus. Each episode, yeah, each episode I fail the challenge. So we're not going to fail the entire thing on one episode. We're going to do it in an episode by episode basis. I'm going to deduct 100 from the total. And at the end of the challenge, my hair will be going nice and pink. Not just any old pink. Fluorescent pink. They glow pink. Bright fucking pink. Because we like pink here, don't we? No, we don't. No, we fucking don't. Mod hates pink. And there's the limiter. Fifteen episodes of driving carefully. Going to be quite rich by the end of it, I imagine. But yeah, fifteen episodes of this. I'm already pulling my hair out. So yeah, um, Hope Athlon is going to be 12pm PST and 8pm BST. Thinking of fundraising, justgiving.com slash mod1982. Justgiving.com slash mod1982. If any of you lovely, lovely people at home feel like donating any money to a worthwhile cause, we have had a donation recently from Chris Viking, and his comment was, here, have some money. <laughs> So thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. It's appreciated, as I'm sure you're aware. It's going towards a good cause. Good cause being helping deal with depression in the UK, helping teenagers that are possibly contemplating suicide, and um, helping society remove any stigmas associated with people wanting to commit suicide. You know, people well, I would actually be more willing to talk about it and how they feel if there was less of a stigma associated with it. Say, for example, they might want not might not want to talk to the River Hearts in case they get left at. Which has happened, actually. A couple of people have actually approached me and say, I don't know what to do. Uh, I, I would love to tell people that I know, but I've got a nasty feeling they'd laugh at me. In which case, fuck them. Tell them anyway. If, they'll, if they want to take what you carry through seriously, they won't laugh at you. And if they, don't, if they do laugh at you, give them some shit. Or just sulk for a few days. That works. Sulking works. And then try again and make them realise, no, look, I am actually suffering here. Of course, the big problem with that one is you got to have a great big 
And this isn't actually aimed at anybody re recently. I just realised I have actually had a conversation very recently with someone about this sort of thing. But it's not aimed at you. I promise you it's not aimed at you. But, um... A big problem can be actually the anxiety involved with actually making the first step to admitting I need help. Then you have to admit to some... Well, first of all, you have to admit yourself to yourself you need help. Then you have to admit to someone else you need help. And then finally you need to go to the professional and say to them, I need help. So it is, it is, part of depression does, you know... I don't know anyone that has depression that doesn't have some degree of social anxiety as a result of it. A lot of it is irrational, we all know this. But, it, like I say, all your money goes towards a good cause, and I believe we're on £1,025 now, 1025 That's a decent amount of money for a good cause, guys, so... Get big pats... Excuse me. Big pats and backs all round. And Simon has made a suggestion that when we do Hope Athlon, the money that we raise from that gets contributed towards the Million Mile Challenge total. And I've got a way of working around that. I've got a way. I think I've got a way of actually working with that. Okay, speed limit. Speed limit is on. There we go. 57, 55. I was going to say, how come we're going up to 59? But I've got a few ideas. I do have a few ideas as to how we can make it work. Oh, I just realised we've got the normal size fuel tank on. The download link for the Team Tuxedo The download link for the Team Tuxedo mod, by the way, is still in the description. So if anybody wants to download the Team Tuxedo version 4 pack now, feel free to go to the description, have a look, go download it. It's alright. Highly recommend Well when I say alright, I mean it's highly recommended. I'm just very lucky that I've got Gaming Dude's beta pack. So I can actually play a bit of the Team Tuxedo pack without having the full mod on. Look at this music's pumping a bit, isn't it? It's the ambient soundtrack from EVE Online, in case I didn't mention. Ambient soundtrack, meaning nice, chilled, relaxed, although when you have it turned up with your headphones on, watch this episode with headphones on if you don't normally. You'll get what I mean. Um, Hopeathlon, it's times clarification, just giving. One of the earliest members of Team Tuxedo, Skeptical Squirrel, has hit 100 subscribers. Excellent news. Well done, Squirrel. Congratulations, mate. Um, here's the next 100 or however many. A lot of it has come from Town of Salem retweeting a few of his videos. Squirrel does a lot of Town of Salem stuff on his channel. If you like Town of Salem, Squirrels is the place to go to. Still needs to work on his confidence a little bit, but it's getting there, you know. I'm not saying I'm perfect, so I'm in a position to judge, but if I was watching Squirrel's videos, I'd say, hmm, this guy's not very ballsy, he's not got much confidence. Not to say he has to start talking like a spanner like I do. Screen presence. That's another one he needs as well. But, you know, to get to 100, you, you obviously have to have something about you. Oh, oh, you remember saying about there's a tune about 20 minutes and that would froth over? This is the one. But yeah, Squirrel has done fantastically well to get to 100. I mean, not anybody just gets to 100. I know 100's not many in the grand scheme of someone like PewDiePie who's got, well, last time I checked, 35 million subscribers. But seriously, that first 100 is the hardest 100 to get, and it's taken Squirrel two years to get there, so major fuck-off flashing at me. Major congratulations to Squirrel for that. Here's to the next up, uh, 100 or so, or however many you get. It's been great having you the team, and, you know, hopefully... We can carry on having more good times together! In terms of other news, um, let's turn the cruise control on. The Pastafarian, guest and friend of the Team Tuxedo guys, he's got Twitter at last, and his name is at Pastafarian42. And he's been resisting getting Twitter for a while because... I don't know why, actually. So now everybody, if you go to watch Pastor's videos and hit like, it will now tell him through Twitter that you like his video and he'll be like, Oh my god, it's annoying, the spam is annoying. But also likewise, when Pastor likes one of our videos, it'll tell us that Pastor likes it. That's a, that's, a, that's a cool reason to like it, I think, you know. Basically, it tells us on Twitter that someone likes our video and also tells us who exactly likes it. Win-win. 
then we can go, Dude, you're a great fan of ours. We know you like our footage. Please have this extra interaction with us because I'll spend more time talking to you because you like me and I thought I might get to know you and then like you too. Because the big problem with YouTube, I think, is it's a, it's a one-sided relationship. I'm sat here talking to you guys. You guys are getting to know me. But how do I get to know you guys beyond you guys talking in the comments and getting people to comment? It's like getting blood out of a fucking stone. Let's say 60 people on average watch an episode of Eurotruck. I'll get, on a bad day, 5 comments from individual people, on a good day, 10, 15. I know I'm never going to get all 60 views, come leaving, I'm not saying it's all 60 views are individual viewers, but I'm not going to get all those people leaving comments, am I? But it'd be nice if, you know, if they hit the thumbs up and it says, oh, this person hit thumbs up. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated. Excuse me. So, you know, it's just, you know, we, I like to give back. A lot of us in t Team Tuxedo and the guys at Team Tuxedo Friends, we feel like we like to give back. As I'm sure that uh, 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 Bob will attest to. And what else is on my little book of planning? Yeah, DF made an interesting point, and apparently in 200, uh, uh, episode 200 is coming up soon. So, I had a look in the book of planning, and then I had a look at the book of diariness, and I did some working out. Hope Athlon is the day before episode 198. Now, I know what you're all thinking, Oh, that's so close to 200, Mud! You could do an extra couple of episodes! I know, I know, if I don't miss any episodes, and I don't do any extra episodes, Hope Athlon is on Saturday the 26th of September. Episode 198, which should hopefully be the Hope Athlon footage, and that will be on the Sunday, the day after, the 27th, yeah? Now part of me, I'll be honest, part of me has wanted to go to Simon and say, Dude, how about I make my live stream part, my portion of the live stream, you know, the race across Europe, how about I make that episode 200? Part of me has been very tempted to go along and say that. But, I don't want to do that. One of the, th the criteria I've set down for when it comes to organising the Hope Athlon is when we have a live streamer, or when we approach a live streamer, we don't want them so big that they basically are the reason people come to see the live stream. I mean, yeah, it's great that people do bring a crowd with them, but imagine if you, if imagine if you will, we get Kurt J Mac to join us. People watch the Kurt J Mac bit and not give a fuck about the rest of us. Kurt J Mac would be the main event, and it wouldn't be Hope Athlon hoping people with depression, gaming with a purpose. It would be oh, oh, oh. speed limit, speed limit, speed camera, speed camera. There we go. It would be Hope Athlon, guest starring Kurt J. Mark, and fuck everybody else. And for that reason, I don't want episode 200 to be the Hope Athlon episode. I want Hope Athlon to be mighty and awesome because Hope Athlon is mighty and awesome and fantastic. I want you guys to watch it because Hope Athlon is mighty and awesome and is supporting a great cause. We can do episode 200 the week after, that's fine. I want 200 to be about us. Me, you guys at home, you guys are what make your truck worthwhile doing for me. I said it before and I'll say it again. You guys, you guys at home, you guys are why we do this. Through your donations, your comments, your thumbs up, you're talking to me on Twitter, keep on encouraging me, keeping me talking through the 60,000 miles we've done so far. We're 60% of the way through Papyrus, we're 6% through the entire Million Mile Challenge. But. Let's let Hope Athlon be about Hope Athlon. Episode 200 will be its own awesome special thing that we need to plan something for, and given it's so close to Hope Athlon is incredibly coincidental, and I think it's fucking amazing. But we do have to, you know, be fair. We have to keep Hope, Af Hope Athlon to Hope Athlon. And I will not be convinced one way or the other. Even if you guys say, but Mod, you need to make Hope Athlon episode 200. It couldn't possibly hijack it. I know. I know there's guys out there joining in with the Hope Athlon that are going to be bigger than me. And I'm under no illusions that I'm going to be the main event. I'm not under any... Sorry, false pretenses. That's the one. False pretenses. I don't think I'm... Just because I'm going up first to do the Euro Race Cross Europe doesn't, mean, doesn't make me the main event. It doesn't make me any more important than anybody else. It just means that we know at least one part of the live stream already. Is how I see it. 
We will fight. Oh, 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 speed camera, speed camera. Let's slow all the way down because it's an average speed camera, and I'm talking to you, lovely, lovely people. But the point is, I think you get the point. We should be supporting each other for Hope Athlon. And all the other live streamers for Hope Athlon. And then when we get to episode 200, we'll do something special. So this challenge will be over by episode 195. That gives us... 96, 97, 98. Four episodes. No, 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 wait. 98 is... 96. Two episodes to get down south to Debrecen. Not to Brecon, Bratislava. We're going to Bratislava. Because that's what's on the multiplayer servers. Fuck me, are we still in the average speed camera area? I think we are. I hate average speed cameras. I hate them quite badly. But yeah, you, you get, hopefully you guys get what I mean. Boom, boom, boom. And also, on a Hope Athlon note, it's a gentle reminder that anybody that per if you purchase anything from the Team Tuxedo Spreadshirt store, which is in the description and has thanks to Lock, by the way, now the URL has been fixed, it points at the .co.uk site, not the .com site, which we don't actually have. Anything, all profits from the Team Tuxedo Spreadshirt .co.uk shop go to the Hope Athlon charities. Which I believe are going to be Papyrus and Reach Out. Reach Out is a US version. Although I think they deal more with depression on the whole rather than the specific teenagers suffering heavily suicidal thoughts aspect of it. But you get what I mean. I, I, I feel very strongly about Hope Athlon should be about Hope Athlon. As, as lovely as it would be, to have episode 200 coinciding with the Hope Athlon live stream, I don't want it to happen. It'll take the focus off it. We've got two drivers confirmed so far for the race across Europe. Myself, with Matilda. Yeah. And Simon, he'll be bringing his mighty beast. Uh, I'm not sure what his name is. Or indeed, if it even has a name. We're looking into the first driver at the moment. I've voiced up, I've, asked, I've approached one person. And he, if he hasn't said anything to us within a week or two, we'll have to look at other options. And I know straight away who my next option is going to be, so don't come approaching me. We have a short list. It's a very short list. Bear in mind how big this is going to be. Or hopefully going to be. On that note, uh, you guys still haven't left me any suggestions for people you watch that aren't me. Or others in Team Tuxedo. Big live streamers. Or big ish live streams that you think would be interested in joining in with this. Throw us some names so then we can go approach them and go, hey, Kai, we think you might be interested in doing this with us. And also merchandising ideas. Don't forget, Hope Athlon is going to have its own merchandising store, its own spreadshirt shop. So if anybody is interested in any, whatever they might want to purchase, because we're trying to raise funds. That's the whole point of this. We're raising money for charity. And we want to give you something for your money as well. As opposed to just, you know, flat out donating £20 to a Just Giving page. Why don't you spend £20 in the shop, have something to show for it, and the charity still gets some money out of it. Win! Win! That's how I see it, anyway. So, um, that's my talking done for the episode. My plan has been hit. Whoa, 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 that was close. That was nearly episode failure right there. Zero and zero. We're looking good. I still turn cruise control on because my finger's hurting a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, also guys, if you do have any soundtrack requests, in the comments as always. DF has asked if I can do the other half of his Lightning Force soundtrack because we only did one half. And I've left it enough for the episode since we did the first half of Lightning Force. DF, my friend, I'll play the second half for you very soon. Probably the next episode, actually. If anybody else has any requests, let me know! Let me know. As always, links and comments are always good. We're dropping speed a bit. Did I turn off... No, we're going up a hill. I, I thought we'd turn off the cruise control then. Curse this lack of super engine. Curse this speed limiter thing. Curse this going downhill as there's a speed camera there. Brakes are good in Matilda today. 
Why aren't they good normally, Matilda? Why do you have to misbehave, you tard? Fucking truck. Guys, never ever get yourselves a pet Matilda. They're annoying. Yeah, no, you are. You are. Don't come that one with me. You are very annoying. Oh, set the buttons wrong. There it goes. Up now. Five hours to complete the job. Six hours to the next rest stop is done. And one hour till we get to our destination. I think, guys, we're going to be able to finish this episode today. Because why not? Ooh! Dickhead. Ooh, the light clicks. Also, you know what I'm not hearing today? I'm not hearing a high-pitched whistling. You know, I'm not hearing any wind noise. Food for thought. But, there's top speed. 55. Curses to the speed limiter. And curses to the lack of manual. I've asked you guys to leave a lot in the comments, haven't I? I really have. So, uh, let's throw the boat out there just a little bit more. Let's make Sunday a Q&A. We haven't had a Q&A for a couple of weeks. Throw me some questions, guys. Let's just, you know, all the questions, all the comments, all the suggestions, all your thoughts, all your facts, all your theories. Just throw them into the fucking comments and just give me your fucking money. <laughs> but yeah, I'd like to do a Q&A on Sunday as well because we haven't done a Q&A for a while. Me and you, you and me, us. I ask you guys questions and you leave me answers and it's a great way of getting to know you but you guys want to get to know me a bit better throw me some questions go on you know you want to also need to concentrate on the road a bit better you know this road this road here but also what i might try and experiment with doing at some point is at the moment i'm recording the webcam with action so and it's put in the top corner automatically so i don't have to resize it or anything like that what i might do at some point is record the webcam separately yeah if you stay with me record the webcam separately but then flip the image, mirror it, so that when I look to my left, you'll actually see me look at the left-hand side of the screen, because it'll look like I'm turning my head to the right. Yeah, it means the studio will look a bit different, but, you know, it, it, for the, in terms of immersiveness, you'll actually see me looking at the correct mirror, rather than my head turning, ooh, rather than my head, turn, my head turning this way, to look at my left, but really, you'll see me look at the screen's right. Do you follow me? Do you follow me? What do you guys reckon to that? Do you, do you like the sound of that? Should we try that? Should we try that at some point? Well, I think we should try it at some point. Oh, you need to get to the inside lane. I'm driving like a spanner, as per usual. And it's four in the morning, and the sun is rising. And at the end of this challenge, we're going to pay off all of our debts, and we're going to be no richer than when we were when we first started. Fantastic. Fantastic. And also, at some point, we need a thumbnail. Is the sun going to come up anytime soon, or am I going to have to just bite the bullet and take a picture? I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and take a picture of Matilda going uphill with a tie trailer. On a depression note, if anybody is actually thinking that they do need help, don't hesitate. Just go do it. Could be the best decision you made. Don't tell all your friends, just tell a select couple that you hope will support you in your hour of need. Last thing you need to be is having the spotlight on you, being all the, you know, having the set, being the centre of attention. Do, 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 do. Capture. Authenticator, uh, nobody on that lane, no, good. Actually, I'm just a, just a second decided, spur the moment decided. You know, I said if I fail an episode, I take off a hundred pounds. Let's have it the other way around. Let's flip it another the other way around. Let's keep the target where it currently is. Right? It's currently on a thousand pounds. Let's increase it to fifteen hundred. Yeah, with me. Increase it to fifteen hundred pounds. And then increase it by 50 each episode. 
because I'd just be as if I was to say let's keep the target as it is but then increase the target by 100 each episode. All it'll take is just a couple of you, wonderful generous people, £50 here, £50 there, boom, Simon and Locke have managed to get me to some hair pink because they're arseholes. I mean Locke's an arsehole, not Simon, Simon's a lovely gentleman, a wonderful gentleman, not even slightly man -horish. So what we're going to do is, after this episode, we're going to set it to 1500 and if I pass the challenge each episode, then I'll add £50 on. And if I pass the entire challenge, I'll then bump it up to 2,500. Does that sound fair? That sounds fair. I think that's cool. I like that. I like the sound of that. Yeah. So it's 50 times... I need to do maths now. 50 times 15. Well, 515s are... 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 75, add a zero. 750, which will take the total up to 1500 plus 750 is 2250. But then, if I pass all 15 episodes, put it up to 2500. Yeah, that sounds fair, I think. And if I fail, I take £100 off each time. Ta da! I like this plan. Oh, 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 30, 30, 30. Stick to the speed limit, Matilda, and stay inside your lane. Just in case someone decides to overtake us, because you know people are like you. And I believe that is where we're going. That is where we're going. This is a ridiculously short yard. Okay. Nice and steady, does it? As usual, we're not skipping the precision parking bonus. We never do that. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. First time! Haven't done that for a while. And careers, three out of five. Fantastic. Excellent. Show results now. Continue. And that's it for that episode. Can we actually repay a loan? The small £8,000 one. Yes, we should spend 8000 to repay the loan because I don't want it there anymore. Which leaves us only 15000 to pay back each day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's it for that episode. Let's have a quick look at the company manager because this is already a long episode. I want to see how my carriages are getting along. Are they all being productive yet? We need driver manager then, don't we? They're all on duty, apart from me who's roaming. You haven't completed a single job yet. Why are you making no money, bitch? Profit per distance. Come on. Are you really that bad? Apparently so. Will that make a difference if I fire her and get a new driver? You guys talk to me, what do you reckon? Should I fire her and get a new driver, or should I give her a chance to keep training? Actually, we need to let... I'm asking you guys too much for the fucking comments, aren't I? I'm asking you way too much. Thanks for watching, watching, guys. This has been a fun episode, even if it took us a bit of time to get going. One episode down of the challenge. 14 to go. Dream big. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.